Hey guys, it's your girl Karen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Goddess of Whispers. It's your girl Karen, and I'm so excited to welcome my Virgos back to my channel. I do want to let you guys know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my Virgos, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Also, the roles in my readings may be reversed, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget to like this video if it resonates, subscribe, and click the bell to get future notifications when another video will be dropped. All right, my Virgo. So this is your tarot reading after dark, okay? I am so, so excited, guys. Thank you guys to everyone who have subscribed and is showing so much positive support to the channel. My kings and queens, I am so, so grateful and so, so uh, blessed and wanted to say thank you. Thank you guys so, so much. We are going to dive into these messages for you guys, my Virgos, and find out what's going on with you guys, you know. We're going to look into your recent past, your present, and your immediate future. And then we're going to get some overall um, advice. We're also going to get some romance messages to further clarify as well. All right, guys, let's dig in. What is going on with my Virgos? All right, guys, let's see. All right, so we have the world. We have the Nine of Pentacles, and then we have the Five of Pentacles in your recent past. In the present, we have the Fool. We have the Four of Swords, and then we have the Page of Pentacles. In the immediate future, we have the Temperance. We have the Six of Swords, and then we have the Nine of Swords, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, okay, for the overall energy. All right, guys, let's dive in. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have the world, the nine of pentacles, and the five of pentacles in the recent past. So this is letting me know that someone has gone through some type of transition or transformation um, within themselves or within a relationship. Okay, this is letting me know someone, uh, you know, was renewed here or there was some type of fulfillment or completion of some type of cycle, okay? Or something needed to be completed or someone is feeling unfulfilled here, but we're, we need to clarify to find out. I also have the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles here. So someone here took time to work on themselves. Someone here was, you know, solely focused on their coin, their growth, their overall um, health, you know, just really taking the time to, you know, um, take a breath of fresh air and just figure things out for themselves, okay? Is when I see this is someone who's very independent, very self-sufficient, you know, has, has their shit together, if I may say so, okay? We have the Five of Pentacles here. So something transpired because someone felt left out in the cold. So maybe this could be you or this could be your person, my Virgos. But someone here is feeling left out in the cold. Someone here feels like um, you've abandoned them or someone here feels like, you know, you withdrew yourself from a particular situation, okay? This can also mean loss in finances as well, but we would need to clarify for the present, we have the Fool, the Four of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. So someone here is wanting to take a leap of faith here, okay? Someone here is willing to risk it all no matter what the cost is. You see this person has that ruby or that diamond in their hand, and they could care less about that. You know, to this person, you know, um, money's not important. This person's just very happy-go-lucky, very optimistic um, in life and willing to just risk it all um, for whatever it takes to achieve what they want to accomplish, okay? Whether that's being in a relationship or, you know, making an investment, whatever the case may be, they are willing to risk it all, okay? We have the Four of Swords here, so that's so funny because right across this board here, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and Six of Swords. So someone here, like I said, is taking time or took time away to focus on themselves. You know, the Four of Swords is all about self-love, taking that time to heal, self-reflect, to figure things out, okay? We have the Page of Pentacles here. This is someone becoming very grounded. This is going through some type of cycle changes uh, within yourself you know um also the page of pentacles can mean here new beginnings this could be a new beginnings within yourself a new beginning within um you know your finances you know but this is overall good news as far as growth goes okay for the uh immediate future we have the temperance card the six of swords and the nine of wands so there was balance um 
that needed to be restored or was restored back here um, with the six of swords um, this is letting me know someone is either contemplating on coming back or uh, reconciling here or someone is continuing to move forward as hard as it may be this person this could be you or your person is needing to continue on their journey to move away from the situation for the betterment of themselves we have the nine of wands here so this is letting me know someone here is guarded Someone here is, um, you know, maybe even needing to find courage or uh, build strength to do something, okay? But if I, whenever I see this card too, it lets me know someone is uh, is watching as well, but it's watching from a distance or loving you from a distance is what I get from this card. The overall energy, we have the Three of Cups here, so this is letting me know uh, someone is... Um, you know, getting help, uh, support and help from fam friends and family, or this could even mean reconciliation. This is a time to celebrate people coming together, okay, to celebrate uh, some type of um, event or um, plans, okay, if I may say so. So we're going to use uh, the Spellcasters deck um, to clarify what is going on with my Virgos, okay, guys? Let's find out what's going on here. Why is the world card here? Okay. All right. The world card is being clarified by the four of pentacles, guys. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the page of pentacles. Okay. So we have the page of pentacles here. So yeah, you became, uh, you or someone here has been, been very guarded in the situation. You know, the four of pentacles is all about protecting yourself, protecting your energy, maybe even protecting your, your, your finances, your coin here, okay? Someone was very protective. You know, um, when it comes to finances too, it could mean someone is very frugal, you know, when it comes to their, their money. But we have the page of pentacles here, and I'm seeing you as, you know, someone who is very self-sufficient, someone who's um, very independent very well off but you know you needed to take some time away to ground it yourself okay um you know this is all about a new beginning for you is what i'm gathering here clarify the nine of pentacles why is the nine of pentacles here thank you so much yeah we have the star the star is all about um hope guidance you know inspiration wish fulfillment being content and i feel like and then at the bottom of the deck we got the queen of wands here so i feel like you know you've you've been taking this time to you know, really just focus on you and, you know, your, your, your money, your assets, you know, not, but your overall health is what I'm get, gathering here. Okay. I'm seeing that, you know, you know, for whatever reason here, not seeing much love here. I'm just seeing you just focus on yourself, but something happened because we have the five of pentacles. So let's see what that is. Okay. So the five of pentacles is being clarified by the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We have the page of wands. Okay. So with the ace of pentacles here, guys, this is all about, you know, a new beginning. Some, you know, someone coming in maybe to offer you a new beginning, you know, the page of, um, Wands is all about uh, uh, good news, someone coming in to express themselves. So if someone here could have hurt you in the past, you know, and someone here is wanting to come back in and express themselves or came back in because this is the recent past. The Page of Wands is, like I said, it's all about good news, communications, letters, text calls, and offer being made. So someone here um, came in um, when you least expected is what I'm getting here with the Five of Pentacles, you know, um, when you least expect it, someone came in and wanted to make you an offer in love, okay? So let's find out what's going on here. Clarify the fool. Why is the fool here? Clarify the fool for my Virgos. Oh, something wanted to come out here. Spirit, what's the message here for my Virgos? Clarify the fool, please. Clarify the fool for my Virgos. What's the message here? Clarify the Virgos. Oh, way too many cards, guys. All right. But I'm seeing what's wanting to come out, Okay. Let's try. Let's clarify further. Sorry about that. Let's clarify these cards. All right. Let's clarify this fool. Why is the fool here? Fool card, please. Why is the fool here? Thank you so much. Okay. So we have the death card in reverse. Okay, guys. So this is letting me know. Um, something happened here okay between you and someone else okay this is someone with the inability having the the inability to move on someone that's resisting change someone who is resisting the inevitable here okay so someone here wanted to 
you know, um, bring the situation to an end because at the bottom of the deck we have the three of swords okay so someone here was broken hearted by a situation and wanted to bring the situation to an end but i feel like there was a clash between you and this person so meaning that someone here was resisting change someone here still is wanting to take a leap of faith here um, on this relationship but someone here is giving up someone here does not um does, doesn't know how to move forward as well, but someone here is not willing to move forward is what I'm gathering here, okay, guys? Um, with this Three of Swords energy, someone here was brokenhearted very deeply in this connection. This could have been you because, like I said, I see someone here highly focused on themselves, and it could be due to the fact that um, they left you in this Five of Pentacles energy of feeling alone, ban abandoned, or... Um, you know, leaving you out in the cold. So if I have the four swords, what is the four swords here? Okay, we got the, uh, let's see, the chariot card. Yeah, so someone came in, because at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. So if they haven't come in uh, um, already, they're coming, okay? Someone, the Knight of Cups is all about new romance. Someone coming in on their knight in shining arm, armor here to offer you love. You could be dealing with um, a water sign, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Um, but someone here is wanting to come in and make you an, an offer. The Chariot's also water energy, guys. So, um, you know, the Four Swords is could be your energy. You could have air in your chart. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra as well. You could be dealing with that sign. But someone here is wanting to come in. Someone here is not willing to give up. You know, but someone here, like I said, this could be you. This is someone that um, uh, is is not, is wanting to give up. So one person's wanting to give up, and the other person doesn't. Okay, is what I'm gathering here from the reading. But someone here is just just oblivious to you know this is done we're over i don't want to deal with this anymore you know it's a person that has an inability to move forward okay um let's go ahead and clear, clarify the page of pentacles Why the page of pentacles here thank you so much yeah i feel like you're shining in it you know your light your light is shining very bright as, as right now you know i feel like you've taken a lot of time to work on yourself i feel like you know, you've decided, hey, you know, I need to move on from this situation. The situation no longer serves me. You know, um, something transpired here between you and this individual that um, is causing this um, situation because at the bottom of the deck, we have the high priestess. So this is letting me know there were some secrets here in this, in this connection between you and this person. And this has forced you into a position to where you have to focus on yourself. But I see that this is for the betterment for you overall. I'm seeing a lot of, um, you know, happiness within yourself now than before. You know, I see you coming through this or perse persevering through this, you know, and, uh, and coming out of this, the empress that you are or emperor that you are, okay? Let's go ahead and clarify um, the temperance card. Why is the temperance card here? Thank you so much. Well, we got several cards here, okay? way too many cards but one thing that stood out to me we have the queen of cups and the queen of pentacles flew out right away guys okay um we got the seven of pentacles in reverse and then we got the knight of cups um uh here as well okay so here's what i'm gathering guys okay because we got two queens on the board uh, clarifying the immediate uh future future so this is letting me know guys Someone here could have been juggling you um, with someone else, okay? Someone here has been keeping secrets from you. With this Knight of Cups um, energy, this is someone who is very romantic, very charming, you know, um, you know, someone who is, uh, could be even be a player, okay, per se, but this person um, is wanting, this is love news coming in, okay? So this person could have had you in a situation because it fell over the temperance card. The temperance card is all, all about having something in moderation. And what flew out? We have the queen and the cups here, okay? All in the same timeline. OK, so this is letting me know that this person doesn't mean that this is going to happen in the immediate future. But what this is telling me is that this person, um, you know, had you in a multiple uh, party situation. You know, there was uh, multiple people involved here. We have the seven of pentacles. Um, um, 
so I can't even speak. The seven of pentacles was in the reverse, okay? So this is letting me know that things didn't happen as planned for you, okay? The seven of pentacles in the upright is all about waiting for an investment to come to fruition for you or waiting for something to happen in your favor, okay? Because you took the time to, you know, plant those seeds. But whenever you see the seven of um, pentacles is in reverse, it's someone giving up, okay? There's no reward to this situation. And I feel like this is is um, you this is your energy you know you're giving up on this situation because this person had you in a third party situation is what I'm gathering here okay we have the five of swords here at the bottom of the deck as well so this is you giving up okay this is you giving up and realizing that this situation no longer serves you so no matter how much they want to come in or they want to express themselves to you I feel like you're you're a, a renewed and revived person you know you saw um solitude and the the reward of that was you came out valuing yourself more than you did when you were in this relationship clarify the six of swords why is the six of swords here please clarify the six of swords please why is the six of swords here thank you so much all right yeah so we have the six of cups in reverse and then we have the nine of swords here. So yeah, so I feel like this, wow guys. And then we got the queen of swords um, here at the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely letting me know that you came out of this with this queen of swords energy. You, you came out of this confident, bold, you know, a boss. You know, this is someone who... Um, seeks authority in situations um, or seeks the truth in situations. She knows the truth before you even come to her with the truth, okay? So I feel like you've bossed up, okay? You got into this energy of like, you know, um, this was not your energy when you first came into this relationship, but when you left this, oh my gosh, you are a force to be reckoned with right now, okay? Or in your immediate future, but this is the, the timeline that is coming in your way. And as far as reconciling goes, we got the six of cups in reverse. You don't want this relationship anymore. You've given up on this, you know, but this is definitely, it wasn't easy, you know, and I'm seeing that with this nine of swords energy. I feel like sometimes you do think about this connection sometimes, but you do, you know that this is not for you, but I feel like this is also your person's energy in this nine of swords. Someone here is in regret over the situation, okay? But for for, for damn sure, I can tell you that this your is this is, whether this is you or your person, they don't want no parts of this anymore. This person doesn't even want to reconcile, okay? Someone's in this energy of like, nope, this situation no longer serves me. No, no, ma'am, no sir, thank you, ma'am. Okay, clarify the nine of wands. Okay, yeah, so we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse, and then we have the Knight of Swords here, okay? Yeah, because you're saying no to this situation, okay? You're feeling like this is not something that I want to be a part of anymore. And at the bottom of the deck, we started in the recent past with this um, Nine of Pentacles. Uh, here we go. We started in the recent past with this Nine of Pentacles, and now we're ending the reading with the bottom of the deck with the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so you've decided to say, you know what, I'm I'm doing fine just by my damn self. Okay, you got that this Ace of um wands in the reverse this is in the upright it's someone coming in and wanting to start a new romance with you and i feel like that's your person because they are coming in they're, they're coming back okay but you're like no sir no ma'am mm -mm, i don't want it i don't want to take whatever you're selling and turn it in the other re direction and take it elsewhere you you're, you're just not having it okay guys you are not having it. This is a situation where you're like, okay, this is no more. I would rather be single. And look what what, what came out over, um, right underneath it, the Ace of Swords. This is all about um, um, a breakthrough, okay? So you're like, I would rather be single by myself than to deal with your bullshit, okay? Let's clarify the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Thank you so much. Yeah, yes. So if you're wanting to know um, if new love is coming in your way, this is letting me know new love is going to come in your way. Okay, because at the bottom of the deck, we got the page of cups as well. So new love, someone new is coming in your way. And it might be someone you're very close to because this is all about, you know, friends and family support. So someone you're very close to could be coming in. I'm not seeing that this is this is representing uh, your past person. This is rep representing someone completely 
completely new that's coming in, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get some love messages here for you guys. My Virgos. What's the message here in love? Thank you. Good for you, Virgos. What's the message here in love? Two more cards, please. What's the message here in love for my Virgos? Ooh. Two more cards, please. Ooh, there we go. One more. These cards are coming harder and harder to shuffle my Romance Angels deck. The message here in love. For my Virgos, one more. Thank you so much. Okay. So we have, okay, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss holiday time together. Yeah, because like I said, with this Ace of Cups here, okay, someone new is coming in, but I feel like this is someone you already know. Okay, and I'm not seeing I'm not seeing this person coming in. Okay. Someone that you already know is coming in your way. We have express your love. Um, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, because someone is coming in that you know, and this is true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So this new person that's coming in, this is going to be someone that you're going to fall head, head over heels for, okay? All right. But that, the person that you left, okay, or take the roles as it applies, they're coming back. And if this that's you, then you're wanting to go back to this person. But, you know, take the roles as it applies. Clarify there we go. Two cards right away. All right. The first message we have is when you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. Yeah, because this person that you were with didn't make you feel calm, gave you an anxiety and made you feel agitated. But this person that's coming in is going to make you feel calm, give you no anxiety and give you no agitation. This person is going to make you feel at peace. Okay. We have life is a big canvas. Throw all the paint on it you can. I feel like this is your energy right now because you're coming you're you, you're coming out of this space renewed, rejuvenated, a whole new person, okay? You've taken the time to self-reflect and figure things out on your own and because of this, you are becoming the star that you are. Okay? All right. So let's see here. Let's close out with some advice. What's the advice here, spirit, for my Virgos? The advice thank you one more yep i completely see that that was meant for you my virgos you cannot make this stuff up one more card for my virgos thank you so much all right so the message you got from the monology jets is you are good enough full moon in virgo this was meant for you guys okay because like i said this reading started off with you really and truly focusing on yourself and it could have had a lot to do with this situation this person could have made you feel like you weren't good enough but you you dug deep by you know removing yourself from the situation and came into the realization realization that you're bomb as fuck okay so we have confidence is your key to success new moon in leo okay so i feel like this new uh, this new improved you it didn't because we ended it in um, we ended at the bottom of the reading you have the um uh queen of swords energy you know so you're moving like a true the true boss that you are right now or will be moving in that manner okay because you're realizing you know how beautiful you are how strong you are how resilient you are you know and this is all going to exude you know um you, you're going to be releasing that kind of energy, you know, out into the universe. And it's going to gravitate this person coming in towards you to offer you this Ace of Cups. Because they, 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 they're liking what they see. All right, my Virgos, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for joining me, Tarot After Dark. I hope you liked the reading. Comment down below. Till next time, guys. Bye.